He's a pretty useful performer. He's won three of his six starts. First over today's distance, that was at Salisbury. The other two were achieved at Thirsk and then at Baden-Baden in Germany. He also ran a good race when third in the Coventry Stakes here at the Royal Meeting. That was when finishing behind cut in, wit, cut in Blade. Well, he's got a lot of speed. He's a big uh, sort of individual. He's a colt by Stanford and stands over a lot of ground, as you can see. He's quite a long rangey type of horse. He's five to one, the second favourite in the market at the moment, and he runs in a visor. But uh, he's as game as they come, but I think he has to have that on just to keep his mind on his job. Written by Simon Whitworth, he's got the pole position. He's drawn number one. And uh, another one with a bit of a chance. This is Chasing Moonbeams, the mount of Stephen Cawthon. He represents one of the, or she represents one of the main chances of keeping the race at home. She's uh, got quite a lot of speed, I think you'll see, after the gates open. And she also has a good turn of foot. Her one win was at Newmarket in July when beating Regency Fee. She also ran a good race in the St Hugh Stakes at Newbury when third behind a buzz. But uh, she was disappointed when tri tried over six for her last start in the Lowther at York. She's back to five today. As I say, she's got a lot of early turn. There we go to number nine. This is a whipper in. Whipperin was beaten a length by singing Stephen at air last month, giving the winner three pound on that occasion. Today they meet at levels, and uh, I think there'll be little to choose between. Quite interesting bred, Whipperin by Bay Express, and out of a very nice mare whip finish, who was by Be Friendly. Well, that's going to bring back a lot of pleasant memories for Peter, Peter O'Sullivan, who had uh, owned, uh, in fact, Be Friendly, and was the winner of the uh, Vernon's Gold Sprint at Haydock twice, and uh, what a sire of broodmares he's turned out well i quite like the look of whipper in but whether he's quite good enough to uh, touch off a group three race today we'll have to wait and see number eight this is singing stephen the one that in fact beat whipper in on when the last they met at air well as i say i don't think there's going to be much to choose between them here brian rouseau looking for his 30th winner of the season a very popular rider standing in the background is mandoob there he is, he'll be going into stall five, amount of Richard Hills. I don't think he's quite good enough, although he's got quite a lot of ability, but again, whether he can win a group three race. The Cornwallis a little bit, I think, uh, underclass this year. What do you think, Peter? Yes, possibly, Jimmy. One no sooner says that than something really good emerges in the race there. Amigo Suthio, into stall number one. That's it. Shot. Under orders. And they're away. And they break very evenly indeed. Clarencia towards the near side. Naturally fresh. Indian Forest right up with Clarencia. Mandoob up so upsides as well. And it's Indian Forest in the center of those three. On the near side, Clarencia. On the far side, Mandoob. Little between them. And then singing Stephen over on the far side, getting his head into the picture as they race down towards the two furlong pole. With his white face, Indian Forest just with a fractional advantage from Clarencia. Singing Stephen on the far side, Mandoob. Singing Stephen now, the challenger to Indian Forest. Clarencia in the center. Center, singing Stephen with the advantage now as they hit the furlong pole and it's singing Stephen with the advantage from Clarencia now and uh, whip finish coming there uh, whipper in coming there fast on the far side as they race into the closing stages it's singing Stephen though from Clarencia singing Stephen Clarencia and whipper in and at the line singing Stephen wins it from whipper in second and third Clarencia and four Indian Forest that's the one two three four they just ran about a little bit in the closing stages uh, these two-year-olds that just uh, could possibly be an inquiry there but uh, no doubt uh, about the winner number eight singing Stephen